Cold War Zombies is finally safe enough to play again. Because a while back, the official Call of Duty update page put out a tweet saying that we are aware of recent reports regarding exploits in Black Ops Cold War and the impact on the small population of players across all platforms. Investigations with partners began last week and are ongoing, and then they followed up that tweet just recently saying a security update has been released on all platforms and additional updates are in progress. So I think this game is officially safe to play again. And to celebrate, we'll be getting another weapon on our new account, Gold Viper, because in our last video, our top comment was from Flamey Balls, telling us get gold viper on the groza on forsaken and we can upgrade our jug to tier five so that's what we're we'll doing today so first things first on the realist but also let's go ahead and upgrade our jug we'll get this all the way up to tier five there we go and we'll be going in with our groza here and ring of fire but if you have any weapon challenge or upgrade suggestions go ahead and leave it in the comments down below i'll have a comment down there as well with everything that we've already completed and upgraded so make sure you check that out first so we don't get any repeats now let's hop into it all right so in celebration of this game being safe to play again i'm no longer be blurring out my name not like that was working too much anyways uh some of you guys were trying to be helpful and let me know that i didn't have it blurred in certain situations but in doing so you kind of just alerted everybody to what the name was but yeah i am nut enjoyer 69 thought it was a pretty fitting name for this account but since the security patch went live uh we did a live stream yesterday of me leveling up the groza where the account name was officially revealed but that stream was kind of a disaster uh my internet was just not having it so the stream was uh, you know, lagging all around. Frames were dropping like crazy. It, it was not the best introduction back into streaming some Cold War, but we will be streaming leveling up our weapons from here on out. Or at least that's the plan because I cannot play multiplayer to level these things up anymore. It, it just takes so long getting them leveled up in there. So I got to play Outbreak. Uh, I Normally I do go through the camos, but I feel like it's kind of repetitive. I've already done it a bunch. You know, may, most of the camo challenges are all the same. It always comes down to just getting critical kills. So I do have a decent amount of just my normal kills done and some pack-a-punch kills, and I already killed all of my elites. But I only had like maybe 50 critical kills out of the 2,500 that I need. So we still got a lot to do today. But that's the only downside to getting this stuff leveled up in zombies. Like Outbreak is the most efficient way to get weapons leveled up. Like if you're playing with people and just going through and doing objectives. I definitely recommend only playing like three waves of Outbreak for it. I, I feel like the, the th first three waves is the sweet spot for getting the most XP per zombie kill. But it's just unfortunate how much camo progress you get while doing it. I wish there's a way to just shut off camo progress until like we get it fully leveled up. So I, I enjoy trying to get everything done and just a single game of zombies i did not mean to hit that nuke what a waste of ring of fire but actually this is gonna be our first grind on this account fully using our, our leveled up ring of fire which i feel like is the most satisfying thing to do in this game is just find a nice spot to sit pop your ring of fire and just mow through an entire horde of zombies it's just so fun to do i feel like i'm back in the full swing of zombies uh some of you guys might have seen uh, recently, we did a Zombies for Charity stream. It was for the Ocean Conserved Charity. Uh, it was a good cause. But uh, we played with Samuel the 17th, Jolts, and Skeptics. And we did like a series of challenges together, mostly in Black Ops 3 and in Black Ops 2. And there's so many like fun modes and like challenges that I didn't really know about until this challenge happened. Or, or this charity event happened. Like, we were playing a 2v2 mode. Like, me and Samuel versus two other people on another team during the event. It's kind of like grief for your health is the amount of points that you have. And it's just, like, going until somebody gets to, like, 100,000 points. And they have to hold that for, like, two minutes or, or something crazy. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything. Yes, I am. I completely dusted them. I had, uh, like... Close to 40 kills. Uh, Samuel and I were playing on Dryzen track and just going off. It, it was just such a fun game mode. And on top of that, I got to try to do some Easter eggs I've never done before. Like we we attempted the Call of the Dead Easter egg, but we did it on the remastered map. And that map's just beautiful. It's a really well done remaster and it was done by like fans of the game. And we attempted uh, the Buried and Die Rise Easter egg. Well, I don't know if we really attempted Buried, but we were supposed to. But we definitely gave Die Rise a shot and we just could not get it done. And to finish it off, we tried to do the Origins Easter egg speed run. But uh, I I'll let you guys see what happened with that if you want to go back and watch it. But it was a full eight hours. So feel free to skip around in that if you want to check it out. And it's getting kind of hectic in here. So I think I'm going to pop one ring of fire, take out this horde of zombies, and then we're going to go try to get set up. Oh, this is so nice. I miss this. It's beautiful. 
a thing of glory. There's our 250 critical kills right there. We already got 156 this game. Okay, maybe we had a little more than I thought. Well, that's still like small, small potatoes compared to what we got to get to get the entire critical kill challenge done. And the Gros is doing pretty decent right now. But from what I remember using this weapon, its fast fire rate is nice. But this thing kind of becomes a pea shooter once you start getting into those like actual rounds, like round 28 and up. And since we have our jug fully leveled up, let me just grab it right from the machine since we're here. But I mentioned it in our last video, but I really just got to reiterate. I think I've been spoiled by Modern Warfare 2's like leveling system and unlocking system for their weapons. Well, maybe not the unlocking system. But the difference between this game and Modern Warfare 2, unlocking weapons most of the time is just some challenge that you have to get like a few kills in a game and don't have to complete it. You can back out. But in Cold War, they wanted me to get three kills without dying in... I think it was 15, 10 or 15 completed games of multiplayer. So that means if I'm playing the game from start to finish for all 15 games, that's like 15 minutes per each game, 10 to 15, depending on the game mode. So if I'm doing the full multiplayer challenge and I'm getting it done every single game, I'm playing for about almost four hours, which is a ridiculous amount of time to unlock a weapon. But luckily there are zombies challenges in this. Uh, sometimes the zombies challenges are or do make it easier to unlock the weapons. So what I had to do was get 250 kills with an assault rifle while zombies are stunned by, you know, an actual stun or by dead wire. So when we end up doing our, our Krieg 6, I have a little bit of of uh, weapon challenges done for that, but it had to be done. There was no way I was playing through all those multiplayer games and then taking the time to level it all up in multiplayer. It's not happening. But we do have all of our parts for our portal. I'm throwing a decoy. Zombie, get the hell away from me. Let's slap this thing together. You know, let's get a few kills before we head through the portal. All right, that's enough. I'm scared. And I just want to give a little appreciation to Flamey Balls for letting me just hop in here and get a weapon done with no, like, crazy challenge to do. Because don't get me wrong, those challenges are fun to do, but sometimes it's just refreshing to hop in here and just do a weapon. Like, I don't got to use no thermal scope. I don't got to use the ZRG, which is a challenge in itself. We just get to sit back, relax, and kill some zombies. Isn't that right, Abomination? All right, ring of fire real quick. I always forget that Ring of Fire doesn't block the Abomination's projectile. Even if it is a, is a projectile? I don't know. He's just shooting beams out his mouth. It should be. And I'm completely out of ammo. This sucks. Okay, quick nuke. Enjoy that, zombies. Where is the ammo? Right here. All right, Abomination. Time for you to fuck off. There you go. Take it. One more head to go. Come on. Go ahead. There we go. So let's lift the lock down. And we will grab Pack-A-Punch and cryo freeze. But before we settle down in a grind spot, I need to go get dead shot. I think it's on this side. Yeah, it is. What's up, dead shot? Give me that. And now we're basically set. And something that came up in yesterday's stream that I thought was uh, pretty interesting is that we were discussing what perks we would use in this game if Cold War had a perk limit. Like what would be the perks that we would prioritize getting? And it's crazy how many of them came down to not even using it for like what they're primarily known for. Like for example, mule kick. I don't, I don't really care about having three guns, but the added bonuses you get from upgrading mule kick is kind of crazy. Like getting basically unlimited ammo because the ammo drops happen so much more frequently with like normal zombie eliminations. And on top of that, you get like the possibility to keep your tactical or lethal when you throw it and the buy one, get one possibility whenever you go to craft one. Like that's huge. And we we're saying like jug isn't as necessary in this game as it is in other zombies games. Like armor is probably more important than jug. Like, don't get me wrong. Jug can definitely save you in certain situations. Like if you're about to go down, you'll, you'll stay with like one health instead of going down. And I think like your health might regen a little bit faster. I don't know. I, we just upgraded jug and I was not paying attention to those tiers. But I think I said the four perks I would choose would be dead shot obviously if i'm playing on controller dead shot is a must and all the added bonuses you get for like bonus critical damage with multiple critical hits is like insane on high rounds it helps out like in great amount and then obviously mule kick like we were we were mentioning with all the added bonuses bonuses when you upgrade then i was saying quick revive just for the ability to kill a zombie while you're down to get back up is kind of nasty and then i think i said elemental pop Mainly because I just think the park's really cool. But having Electric Cherry in there and having a bonus or, or a bonus percentage to have your ammo mods activate is really cool. And Electric Cherry plus like Quick Revive, you're basically getting up every time as long as a zombie's right next to you while you reload your like 1911 on the ground. But I was thinking 
maybe speed cola in the speed cola reload speed is actually pretty slow compared to like other games or at least it feels very slow in this game like there, it doesn't really feel like there's much of a difference but i do really like being able to get my like ring of fire faster so that's like a huge bonus of having it but there's not a lot of perks that are like too crazy in this game i'm pretty sure uh death perception actually increases like armor penetration which is great on high rounds but i don't really care too much about seeing zombies through walls it also does help with getting like more uh scrap or was it salvage? I don't know why I always call it scrap. But that's also very useful if you're you're finding yourself using like death machines or war machines going for high rounds too. But I just really like the perk system in this game because I feel like if I have enough points to get more perks, I shouldn't just be limited to four. So I hope uh, in the future they, they keep the perk system at unlimited. And I think this gun desperately needs an upgrade. We're, we're still sitting at a red tier. This needs to change right now. Let's get this to green. Can we go any higher? We can. And that's about it. What about armor? Can we upgrade that? No, we are broke as shit. I probably should start picking up some other perks. And this spot's actually pretty good for grinding. We use this a little bit when grinding out our masteries on our main account. I kind of like it. So I think I'm going to use this until I can't. Oh, there's our bloodshed camo. We're at 1,500 kills. Still got 1,000 to go, though. This reminds me of the OG truck spot so much. Like that, that truck back in spawn. That was like my favorite grinding spot. Now, this is actually really similar to it. Maybe even safer. Safe enough for us to get our jackrabbit camo right there. And of course, this abomination is going to show up the second my ring of fire ends. Dickhead. And my decoy is not even going to work. Get on the decoy, please. And please fuck off, abomination. I asked nicely. There you go. Those things got way too much health. And I got way too many points. I'm going to go pack a bunch again. So let's get pack two. Can't quite afford pack three. But maybe we make a run for the Wonder Fizz. I still got a decoy left. We'll see if it actually helps us out. Go ahead and enjoy that decoy, zombies. And I will grab the rest of my perks. Except for Elemental. Good thing I ran out of money because I would have bought it. Oh, shit. Bad thing I ran out of money because I'm dead. And I have no money to buy my perks back. All right, well, that was a bad idea. Came out of that with less money and less perks than what we started. At least we have enough to still get Deadshot back. That's just a necessity at this point. I guess we can just go back to the grind and pretend like that never happened. Oh, self-revive. I completely forgot to buy another one. Good thing uh, that dropped. Because if we would have went down again, that would have been game. Actually, now that we're back at like 30,000, we got a few zombies left in the round. Let's get some perks back with a little less... Uh, chance of us dying there we go got most of them that's probably good for now are we missing a oh, phd yeah we don't really need that but we do need to upgrade our weapon a little bit more there we go i just gotta save it for pack three and save enough to get this thing to legendary oh i got a ring of fire for you this time abomination you little shit can't catch me off guard now plus the insta kill you're done later bitch okay maybe we desperately need to bring a fire in this spot otherwise it's chalked oh it's chalked Disciple, could you fuck off, please? Kindly. I need to get out of here. Ooh. And there's tier five jug helping us out. We should have went down right there. Actually, maybe once we get pack three, we'll try it again. But for right now, that spot is not safe. This spot ain't safe either. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that was crazy. It's still crazy. We're still living it. No fucking way we just survived that. Ring of Fire is such a cheat code. And we just got enough for pack three, so I'm gonna go grab that. Damn, dude, that was insanely close. What did I say? Round 28, this thing would start falling off? I was a little bit off. Round 26. Well, we'll see if this can help it. Oh, shit, the Abomination's right here the whole time? Get the fuck out of here. Skid fucking daddle. And we're down. Fuck me. Hey, maybe this isn't the best spot, but that abomination kind of, you know, threw our evaluation of it out of the way. We're struggling today. Yeah, let's grab a self ride back before we forget. And I'm officially calling it on the donut shop spot. It ain't worth the risk anymore. Back to spawn we go. We'll just have to do a little bit of training until we build up a ring of fire and then we can go sit by death perception and pop it. Oh, there's a rotten camel. We're all done with our normal kills. And we have like one or two zombies left. So let's go buy our perks back for the 80th time. Fuck me. And that's game? What the fuck? Mimic just took me and plucked me out of existence. All right, well, I guess we got to restart. Well, actually, the good news about us 
Going down is that we can switch out our 40 round for a 50 round mag. And we still need 500 pack of punch kills and about a thousand critical kills. Jeez. Well, good news is we might be able to go back to the donut shop to grind. Okay, riddle me this. You know how like these little voice things pop up every time someone's speaking? So is Dr. Peck sending in a new profile picture like for this map? Like how do we have this? It looks like he's posing for it because it's not the same one as on Firebase because he's got one less eye. So they got like a, a LinkedIn or something that we're grabbing these from. What's the deal with them? Why does it sound like that? All my bullets sound like a wet duck or like octopus suction cups. Why does it sound like that? Ooh! Killed the abomination by meleeing it, little bitch. Oh, there's all of our pack of punch kills. And we're about halfway there on our crits. Just 500 more kills to go. This should be the last of our crits, hopefully. Nope. Oh, it was! Let's go! All right, we got gold viper zombies. You earned it. Go ahead and take me out. Thank you. So our final stats for our second game, 100... 75,000 score, 1,386 eliminations, 1,042 crits, zero revives, and I went down four times. Now let's make sure that we got it. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and hop in game and see what it looks like there. This kind of looks like shit. I understand why there's some of the secondary color taken away, but not all of it. Like we still have the wooden part in the middle here and it kind of just clashes with like the matte black and the, the golden viper. Also the inspect animation on the Groza kind of sucks. You, you barely see the gun. You almost see less of it when you're inspecting. Like you don't see any of the stock and you can barely see the mag. Kind of lame, but uh, at least we got it done. But that's another gun done. Make sure you leave your suggestions down below of what weapon you want to see us do next, as well as what upgrades and whatever challenge you want us to do. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.